A Phelps couple looking to expand their family got the shock of a lifetime. Oh yeah, tonight, News 10 NBC investigative reporter Jennifer Lukey shows us Rochester's newest quadruplets. Carissa and Dylan Smith have two happy little boys, seven-year-old Tyler and four-year-old Colton. But they've been through a lot in the last several years trying to naturally expand their family. We lost twins at 20 weeks and then our four-year-old is our surviving twin. Um, we lost his brother Elijah when they were 12 days old. We lost a little girl uh, the day before our second trimester started. They decided to give it one final shot. I actually said, you know, I would like to try one more time. Uh, I, I really would like to have a daughter. I was like, why don't we try one more time? Carissa eventually agreed. Their sons were on board too. Tyler was really excited to be a big brother. Yes. He put his order in for <laughs> his sister. They got pregnant the good old fashioned way. And when they went for a sonogram, two babies popped up right away. She moved the wand a little bit and the third one popped up. And then I think I blacked out a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> So she barely heard the doctor say there was a fourth. Because of their previous losses, the Smiths were nervous throughout the pregnancy, but it went as best as could be expected. This week, at 29 weeks and three days, the babies were ready to come out. Carissa's team at Strong, led by Dr. Lorelai Thornburg, was ready. Preparing, but you can't really get ready until you finally know it's the day that that the boys have decided that they're going to have a, a birthday. Each baby had their own team of a doctor, nurse, and respiratory therapist. We also have a lot of people kind of waiting in the wings when we have a delivery like this. So people who are not necessarily have a job, but are ready in case we need something extra or to go get something because the complications for both the pregnant person and the infants can be higher. Baby after baby was delivered via C-section. There's Lincoln, Jesse. All as healthy as can be expected at this age. And there's Ian. Weighing between two and three pounds. He's under the billy lights right now. He's all, all snoozing in there. And all four babies are boys. Spontaneous quads, very rare. It's about a one and a half million chance. Even more rare, it looks like the boys might be identical. The odds of that, one in 12 million. It certainly looks suspicious for them having been a very early split, but it's very hard to tell um, unless they do genetic markings, markers on the boys. Are you yeah, guys we're... playing the lottery? <laughs> we're Not gonna yet, need to. we're going to. For now, mom and dad are looking forward to holding their new boys for the first time. They've all been doing fantastic. They have, there, there's no oxygen requirements. There's, I mean, they're all on the same page. They'll likely be in the NICU for the next six to eight weeks, but the Smiths are counting their blessings and truly believe that Zachariah, Lincoln, Ian, and Daniel were a gift from above. I think it's kind of a, a blessing. You know, we've, we've dealt with a lot of loss. We've lost four through uh, multiple things through the pregnancies, and now we got four back. So it's kind of, yeah. kind of like we got our prayers answered. And their family is complete. Jennifer Lukey, News 10 NBC.